Good Sunday morning, everybody, from the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik on a very clear and very frosty morning across the Mid-South. We're going to continue to see some very dry conditions into the rest of the day today. We've got, again, some possible problems as we go toward Thanksgiving with a new storm system heading in from the West Coast states. This is going to be giving us, again, the possibility of more showers. But for today, a lot of sunshine, winds out of the north, and temperatures in the green triangle in the red bar at the bottom of your screen back in the lower 50s. If you're not familiar with this, this is our weather blog online. This is where we give you more forecast information on your schedule, so you can take a look at what's going on across much of the Mid-South and beyond as we keep you updated. We'll have another weather cast coming up tonight, depending on football, at about 5 o'clock, and also on the late edition on News Channel 3 at 10. And don't forget about News Channel 3's Todd Demers. He'll have your forecast coming up bright and early tomorrow morning, starting at 4.30. Heading into the rest of the forecast, chilly this morning, mid to upper 30s, a few clouds, some patchy frost frost here and there. Golf carts lined up and ready to go at Windyke Country Club and you can see some of the frost remaining in parts of the areas, especially back in the shady areas of Windyke Country Club. Rest of the morning into this afternoon, high temperatures should be topping off in the lower 50s as we work our way into this afternoon, but otherwise not seeing again a lot of major problems for today. We are going to be seeing some fairly cool conditions out there throughout the rest of the day. Also very dry. We are still behind for the month of November by about two and a half inches. Now, a lot of the times that shouldn't really seem to be too much of a problem, especially nowadays as November is the rainiest month of the year for the Mid-South area. To have this much rainfall, only two-thirds of an inch for the entire month, that's some pretty desperately dry conditions. Now, we do have a very large surplus for the year, six and two-thirds inches plus, but that was gotten all the way back in February and March of this year, and that's about half of what we had back then. We were about 12 to 14 inches ahead back during that portion of the year. Nowadays, we still have a about half that marker of a surplus, <coughs> excuse me, and also seeing again those uh, chances of rainfall pretty slim for the next couple of weeks. And chances of rain are in the forecast, yes, but just not that much out there for any time soon. Wildfire dangers, don't forget those continue in effect. An elevated risk for the Mid-South area, according to the National Weather Service in Memphis and the local divisions of forestry and agriculture out there. Cross point set in Mississippi counties are the only ones in Arkansas at this time under burn bans. There are numerous counties in Arkansas under burn bans. Likewise in Mississippi, all counties in the News Channel 3 viewing areas under mandatory burn bands which will be in effect until further notice. The eastern half of Tennessee is under a burn ban at this point in time from Nashville back to the west uh, into around the area of the Tennessee River. That again is where we're getting some very dry conditions as well. In West Tennessee, according to the National Weather Service, burn restrictions are in place for all of West Tennessee. No permits are being issued for outdoor burning. Residents are urged to use extreme caution for outdoor grills. Burn restrictions will remain in place until further notice. Uh, burn bans remain in place for areas across the Mississippi counties and of course Poinsett counties in and around the Boot Hill. Extreme caution is advised. We had some pretty good wildfires taking place there and going to be seeing again that danger continuing. Yes, we did get some rainfall the other day, but it's not enough to lift the burn ban. That's an official act of city, county, or state government, so that's going to take a while to get that taken care of. Record low, 16, set back in 1914. Record high of 78, set back in 1979. High temperature yesterday of 52 and a low on Saturday morning for Memphis of 38 degrees rest of the day today. Numbers again heading upwards into the upper 40s to lower 50s by about early to midday. High temperatures today with those winds out of the northwest 5 to 10 miles an hour. Not exactly gusty but not exactly quiet either across much of the area. We continue to see again some fairly quiet numbers for winds. Occasional gust over 10 miles per hour but that's going to be about it. And into the rest of the day today numbers for highs in the upper 40s around Dyersburg. Some areas will have difficulties getting out of the lower 50s. Lower 50s for the rest of the Mid-South area. Warmest conditions in the southeast Arkansas, northwest Mississippi area, Clarksdale, Tunica, down toward around Batesville, Oxford. You're going to be seeing the warmest numbers of the Mid-South there. News Channel 3 at 5, 60 minutes at 6, right after football. Temperatures back in the lower to mid-40s. By mid-evening, just before News Channel 3 at 10, easily looking at some upper 30s to lower 40s, and then heading toward midnight. Temperatures dropping toward freezing, especially in northeast Mississippi, southwest Tennessee. The bus stop tomorrow for the kids, upper 20s to lower 30s, so please make certain that everybody is bundled up properly 
before they head out the door. Looking at the seven-day forecast, clear and chilly today. Numbers back only in the lower 50s at best. A little bit warmer tomorrow as the winds turn out of the south in advance of our next storm system coming in from the west coast states, but we won't see an effect on that until about Tuesday evening when more clouds start to make their way on through. Mid-60s for highs on Tuesday, lower 60s on Wednesday, and for the big day on Thursday, temperatures will be back in the mid to upper 50s. Lower 60s for Friday and Saturday. Chances of showers will be greatest on Wednesday. That's that storm system dropping a cold front through. We've had to raise the chances of rainfall to about 70 percent, so it's going to be looking at a better chance of fairly widespread showers and thunderstorms. So far it does not look like anything in the way of severe weather, which is good news. Also not seeing anything in the way of frozen precipitation, way too warm for anything involving that. Saturday evening, we'll be seeing better chances of showers and thunderstorms sneaking back into the forecast. Minimal chances only, and that includes Sunday, so your trip back home again may include the possibility of needing an umbrella, and some of that rainfall potential could continue into the weekend after Thanksgiving, with numbers back in the lower 60s by the time everybody gets back to work and or school before the other holidays begin out there. Whether where the troops are, if you have friends or loved ones serving in the United States military, some of the locations around the world where they may be stationed, temperatures in the mid-60s around the area of Iraq from Basra up to Mosul, temperatures back in the mid to upper 60s with partly Clagdad, back into the Persian Gulf. Bahrain, Riyadh in Saudi Arabia at the mid to upper 70 mark. Afghanistan chilly around Herat and back toward Faizabad, getting some reports of snow and temperatures back in the mid 30s. Kabul at the airport, 48 degrees. Kandahar, a little bit lower down toward the valleys, looking at mid 50s. Not seeing anything in the way of sandstorms, which can happen at this time of the year. And back toward the Korean Peninsula from the DMZ south to the back to the Yellow Sea and areas around the area close to the uh, western areas of the Pacific. We're looking at numbers back in the lower to mid 40s to the lower to mid 50s with mostly cloudy skies being reported at about Monday evening at 1120. Check in with my forecast throughout the weekend on the EAB network. Country 92.5, Oldies 102.3. Got pictures for weather across the Mid-South. We want to see them. Aonic underscore WREG3 and we'll show them online and on air when we have the opportunity. Whatever system you've got, get our app it's available right now at your particular app store at WREG Weather if you search that and get more information there. If you'd like to get more details about what I did yesterday in the area around Germantown Depot, I went over and saw the Neshoba Amateur Radio Club celebrating Germantown's 175th anniversary on the air with a special event station if you'd like to see more about that. Head to WRAG.com slash weather. Updates on burn bans. And, of course, you're watching News Channel 3 video weather blog, Weather Overtime, there as well. So definitely an opportunity to get more information about that. We'll have our update on astronomy potential, what you can see in the night skies, coming up later on this evening on News Channel 3's astronomy blog called Sky Blog 3. And, of course, we'll have your forecast on News Channel 3 at 5 and 10 later on this evening. Questions, comments, ideas, concerns, complaints, if you absolutely have to, and a lot of you have to, Austin.onic at WRAG.com if you'd like to find out more across the Mid-South about what's going on with weather or if you'd like to suggest a segment or an idea for what we can feature on here, please let me know and we'll be glad to see what we can do about featuring that in the near too far future. I'm meteorologist Austin Onic. It's Sunday morning from the News Channel 3 Weather Center. I'm meteor I am just said that. This is Weather Overtime, our News Channel 3 video weather blog. Thanks for joining me today and stay tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online for the latest weather information throughout the rest of the the weekend.